Hello, this is Joseph Land, and welcome to my series, Ask Joseph Land. And each week, those of you send in questions that you want me to answer, and I'm so excited about doing this. If this can help you or be a blessing to you, become a great entrepreneur or just be a better person, then so be it. I've accomplished my purpose. So if you don't mind, before we get started, if you go down below and click like and hit the subscribe button button so you get these um, series when they come out and you can share them and uh, view them again and share them with your friends. So thank you for joining me today. Pat asked me a question. What are the things that seasoned entrepreneurs do in pitches that beginners don't? I guess sales pitches is what she's saying. But one of the things that I see in, in people is they're afraid and they don't ask for the order. They do everything but ask for the order. And then the other thing I see people do is they give too much information. You know, hey, just close. And, and so too much information, you wear your client out and they're not gonna make a decision. Uh, and so me, I am very well prepared. I'm very professional. I deliver the message and then I ask one question, are you ready to get started? <laughs> you know, and I don't say another word till hell freezes over, you know, and who, whoever says the next thing, uh, then, then I counter. If he says, well, I'm not ready to get started, or yes, I'm ready to get started right now with your company, or well, I don't know yet. And I said, can I help you uh, make a quick decision here and answer some more questions? I have plenty of time. And they'll say, well, no, maybe uh, so-and-so. And I'll say, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to send you some more information. But uh, if I were you, I would make a, uh, a good decision on this because it could benefit your company. And, and I go on to say that, you know, my time is valuable just like yours. And there are a lot of people wanting our service. And I'd certainly like to have you as a client. But, uh, but I don't have time to, you know, follow up and follow up and follow up. I'd like to, uh, to give you this information, have you make a a good decision and uh, and let you see what our service does for your company. That's kind of the takeaway. So sometimes you just have to take away from it. Then the other thing is, is you can show somebody what they really need and they really need it and you know they need it and they know they need it, but they're in la la land and they can't make a decision. And I just say next, you know, I don't have time for that because there are, you know, a lot of people who need your service and that person maybe is not ready right now. I'll circle back to them a month from now, two months from now, three months from now. And a lot of times they'll see me having success and doing what I'm doing and they'll want to join me. They'll call me back. So that's a great question, Pat. Thank you for that. Sasha said, asked me, what is an entrepreneur's definition of success? My entrepreneur definition of success is, hey, having my own business, being able to work my own hours, being able to have time at home to spend with my family and loved ones. You know, if you think about the definition of, of success, you know, I got married so I could spend a lot of time with my wife, but what happens a lot of times in business is you, is you spend most of your time at work and you don't spend that time that you dreamed of with your wife. I'm, I created a business so I could spend time with her, uh, and have that daily time with her that I want and schedule, uh, my task accordingly. And, and so the other thing I think is success is when you've, you've cre you have a vision, you've created a plan, you've strategized over ex executing that plan, you've executed well, and you've done well. And my, in my definition, that's success. And then, you know, I heard uh, one time, uh, someone like Howard Hughes say, they said, Mr. Hughes, how much is enough? And he said, just a little bit more. And I have a little bit of that in me. You know, sometimes I just want to do a little bit more, uh, but I've learned to gear that down and to be relaxed and to let it come to me more. Uh, let success come to me more. You know, do the work, pray about it, do my discipline every day, and let that success come to me. And success is measured in many ways by many different people. And so that, those are just a few ideas that I, that I thought of when uh, you asked me that question, Sasha, and thank you for that. Mark asked me a very hard question, and this is very difficult for me uh, to answer because this is one of my uh, pet peeves. He said, what can you say about people who become instant mentors overnight, uh, uh, but who have not really uh, had the experience and built a reputation over years 
with a lot of experience in the industry and doing things. And, and my answer to that is, you know, choose your mentor wisely. Uh, choose someone who's done what you want to do. In my case, uh, I chose someone who'd done what I wanted to do. Uh, someone who'd been through the pitfall, someone who understands uh, the balance sheet, someone who understands cash flow, someone who understands how to encourage me, how to keep me motivated, how to, how to tell me it's okay when things are tough. That's the person I choose to be my mentor. And so you need to choose wisely who your mentor is. But, you know, sometimes people can uh, portray to be a mentor and they don't know a balance sheet from a ham sandwich, you know? I mean, that's just the way we talk in the South. But uh, what I would say to you is, is choose wisely who your mentor is. I want someone who has done what I'm trying to accomplish, who's been there, who's been through the tough times, who's been through the good times, who understands what it is I need to do to take my business and my game and myself personally next level. And so that's what you should be looking forward to. Uh, God bless you. Thank you, Mark, for that question. Thank you for joining me today. Great. Have a great week. Great answering your questions. And I'm excited about what's happening. And those of you uh, who have uh, businesses and you're working your business every day and you're looking to become better, and asking these questions. So thank you for these today. God bless you guys. Have a great day.